Garden design ideas to make the best of your outdoor space from garden landscaping to smaller, fuss-free updates. These garden design ideas are key to creating a scheme you'll love for years to come. Whether you're looking for garden landscaping ideas to overhaul your outdoor space of however big or small to attract more wildlife or be more sustainable, we've compiled some fabulous garden ideas to help you transform your back garden, bend it'll even help to boost your property value. If you're looking for smaller garden updates, we also share advice and styling tips on garden furniture, paving, lights, plants, borders, decking, and more to help you carve out an outdoor space you can really enjoy. But importantly, before you proceed with any redesigns or updates, take a look at your garden as a whole, says Andrew Kite at the Chelsea Gardener. Find out as much as you can about the garden's position, direction, and outlook. Not only will this affect planting, it can dictate how you use your space. Whether it's a small garden, long and narrow garden, cottage garden, or courtyard garden, you should observe where and at what times of day different parts of the garden gets light and sun. Think about access and what you want to use your garden for planting and growing veg, sunbathing, eating al fresco, or simply sitting down to enjoy a cup of tea on a sunny morning. Answer these questions and you'll have a clear idea of exactly how you want your garden to work for you. We hope these garden ideas will give you some inspiration. 1. Get your lawn into shape look out of your window at your garden and the biggest shape you'll probably see is your lawn. If it's a good, strong shape, it will set the entire garden on the right track. And remember, it doesn't have to be a rectangle, a tri and oval, circle, square or oblong shape. You'll need the right tools to complete the job. Last year saw a rise in searches for nifty robotic lawn mowers and ride-on mowers, with the Flymo Easy Glide 300 electric mower being a best seller, as revealed by Price Comparison Service Price Runner. For ongoing lawn care and maintenance, Stuart Thomas, gardening expert at Online Garden Center Primrose, advises, if your lawn is looking lackluster, consider the three tenets of sunshine, showers, and soil aeration. Cut branches back to keep excessive shade away. Water once a week early in the morning if the UK's frequent rain isn't cutting it. For aeration, take a fork to your lawn and poke heaps of holes. Do all of these and your lawn will be verdant before you know it. And don't mow it too short. However, with a rise in natural wildlife gardens, perhaps instead of using a lawnmower, you might want to leave your grass to grow long and discover what wildflowers cultivate naturally. This very much taps into the rewilding trend and the idea that people want gardens that look like they are of nature rather than the more obviously designed spaces, explains garden designer and Henry Powell. Read more The Big Lawn Debate, to mow or not to mow? Plan your planting the best garden designs start with structural plants and filled with pretty, flowering plants. So use evergreen shrubs at the end of each border and as punctuation along the way. Include small shrubs such as box balls or large evergreens, for example Mahonia, for bigger areas. Once you have this frame, fill the gaps with pretty flowering plants. Try to stick to just five or six different types and arrange them in repeated patterns for a coordinated and harmonious effect. A meter or more in depth is a perfect size for a border, giving you enough space to put smaller plants at the front with taller ones behind. Remember, narrow, low-planted beds can define seating or dining areas, as can lines of planted up troughs that choose evergreen-scented plants, such as lavender or Mexican orange blossom. Containers offer the most flexibility though, allowing you to move them around however suits. Creeping rosemary is a great plant for edging in containers, as it trails rather than growing upright, is evergreen and covered in blue flowers in spring, says Tony Woods, managing director of garden design company Garden Club London. If you don't have room for meter deep beds, you could place climbers at the back of the border so you can still get height in the planting. In terms of climbing plants, Opt for an evergreen-like clematis, which provides a beautiful and colorful display. Tony recommends star jasmine for seating areas. It's very well behaved, produces masses of white, waxy, scented flowers throughout the summer and reacts well to being cut back. 
so is ideal for positioning behind a seating area where you don't want plants hanging over and can enjoy the scent. When you're choosing flowering plants, try to make some of them out-of-season performers so you have some year-round color, or put in spring and early summer bulbs to get the garden off to a great start. If you're looking for ways to make your garden more sustainable, the Samphire Garden by Sue Townsend demonstrates how you can create a garden that both benefits the planet and yet is still bursting with texture and visual interest. Set amongst paving of locally reclaimed York stone, the coastal garden in Suffolk uses a rich palette of drought-tolerant planting, including native seaside plants, grasses, and Mediterranean shrubs surrounded by a stone mulch in different sizes. Plants include verbena bonariensis, eryngiums, euphorbias, lavender, anchilia, bolota, miscanthus nepalensis, penicetum, verbena, and thymus. Ensure you use permeable surfaces to allow water to be released naturally into the ground. Trees mature trees can be a starting point for building a scheme. They block the glare of the sun and can also be used as an anchor for shade sails, hammocks, pendant lights, or hanging decorations. Trees can also screen an unattractive view or help to filter noise and air pollution if you live near a busy road. And they benefit nature significantly, providing pollen for insects and shelter for birds, and converting airborne carbon dioxide into oxygen. A growing trend is multi-stem trees and planting these can create an architectural showpiece, with the elegant canopies lending themselves to layered underplanting or, if planted exclusively, creating a striking structural statement. As seen below in this modern Suffolk garden by Caitlin McLaughlin, multi-stem trees and soft planting creates a deconstructed woodland environment in a front courtyard garden. Trees are fantastic as a habitat and food source for wildlife and as a source of carbon capture. They also give structure and architecture to a garden, says Sarah Squire, chair of Squire's Garden Centers. There are trees for every size and shape of garden, from a small acer in a pot on a balcony or a gorgeous flowering cherry in a back garden, to birch, white beam and hornbeam my personal favorite for larger spaces, for beautiful paving the color and style of your paving, and the way it is laid can provide a strong design direction for the entire garden. For instance, gray or white stone laid in a random pattern will set the scene for a French country look, black, or silver paving organized in a regular design will form the perfect backdrop to a sleek and modern scheme. While golden stone arranged in, a mixed pattern creates an English country feel. Need some inspiration? Butter Wakefield created an elaborate paving design of 10 interlinking circles in her ribbon wheel garden, each one different in design and size, and connected to one another by a ribbon of your cobblestones. The circles, created from a combination of limestone and yorkstone, are laid in a mix of sets and cobbles creating a stunning effect. If you want to create the garden of your dreams, attention to detail is everything. Create a beautiful scheme by coordinating your plants with your choice of paving. For example, gray or white stone looks great with purple and white blooms black and silver paving looks amazing with strong colors such as red, orange, and yellow golden paving works with flowers that have soft tones of pink, lavender, and chalky, yellow. Michael John Magar, director and garden designer at Warren's Magar. Porcelain absorbs no water so requires less cleaning than traditional types of paving, meaning less pressure washing and much less hard work when multiplied over future years.